Welcome to this week's edition of The Double Take. I'm Trevor Wilt. I'm Kathleen Cook. And we're here at Jerry Richardson Stadium where the Charlotte 49ers just failed to get their first Conference USA victory against the Old Dominion Monarchs falling 52-17. to Before kickoff, players from both Charlotte and Old Dominion joined hands in a circle of unity following a week full of riots and protests around the Charlotte area. Coach Lambert just pulled all the seniors together earlier in the week, said that they reached out to us about it. Um, he asked us what we thought about it, and you know, we were all for it right away. Everybody agreed on it. I uh, thought it was a good idea that showed that, you know, there's a lot more to life than just football. Um, you know, everybody stops playing the game at some point, so it is a bigger thing. So it was nice to show the city and show everybody here that was watching that, you know, that we can come together, that we are just as one. Now to the game where it was all Old Dominion from the first snap. Jumping out to a 21-3 lead, David Washington found Travis Fulgham down the sidelines for a 55-yard touchdown Whoop. to put ODU up 28-3 at the start of the second quarter. I mean, they're a good ball club. Um... We knew how athletic the quarterback was. We knew number six was a good player as well. Um, we just didn't do a good job containing him. Uh, when we had the chances to make the play in the backfield, we didn't do it. Um, it's tough with that athletic running quarterback. Seconds before halftime, starting quarterback Kevin Olsen found senior running back Khalif Phillips, who sprinted his way down to the end zone for a 42-yard touchdown. Whoop! Phillips trekked down the field thanks to some great downfield blocking, cutting the lead down to 21, and the 49ers headed to the locker room down 31-10. to 10. Phillips went on to lead the 49ers in the air and on the ground during Saturday's matchup, catching two passes for 52 yards and rushing for 62 yards on 16 carries. To cap off a season-long 95-yard drive, Hassan Clue tiptoed in his Jordans into the end zone, cluing in Niner Nation that he is ready to lead the Charlotte offense. Kevin Olsen was 14 for 31 with one interception and one touchdown for 145 yards. Clue finished 4 for 5 with 31 yards and rushed for 41 yards on six carries. Well, uh, nothing went very well tonight. Uh, obviously, I didn't have him ready to play. And uh, we got to go back and look at everything we're doing and, uh, you know, we got to have them ready to play. And that's my responsibility. And uh, we got to go back and look at uh, what we're doing, how we're practicing. And, and uh, that's what I told our team. We come in every game ready to win and go hard every game. We just can't underestimate all the players that we – or the teams that we play. As much as our job to get everybody ready to go as it is coaches. Um, you know, we're the seniors, so we got to get everybody's minds focused. Uh, get everybody to respect the opponent that we're playing to come out and play at the level that we know we can. Yeah, that's probably the most disappointing thing. We had a good crowd tonight. They were loud, good, yeah. and we didn't, we didn't give them anything to cheer about. The 49ers hit the road next week taking on FAU. They return home in two weeks for homecoming against FIU. Kickoff is at 6 p.m. For the Niner Times, I'm Kathleen Cook. And I'm Trevor Wilt. We'll see you then.